here is my guide for International A License 10 and as we start here I'm going to pause it because there's something worth noting and that would be this curb on the right. Make sure you're going around this curb and don't go onto it because I found if I go onto it it pushes me off the line. So just around it and then we go up to the next turn where we want to have a small lift. I don't actually completely lift off my throttle here but if you're getting used to it then I'd suggest have a bit more of a lift here. And for this curb, don't hit the curb but you can either cut right on top of it or avoid the curb. If you get in the middle there it kind of pushes you off your line as well. So small lift and then getting back to th on full throttle again only when your car is straight. On exit, you can use a little bit of this Astro Turf on the right here, but only put your right side wheels on it. Don't go too far of it or you'll go in the grass. Where our first braking point will be the end of this Astro Turf right here, braking almost alongside it, staying on the outside. And then make sure we trail brake here, because if we hold the brakes, it'll just understeer us here. Another turn, and pretty much from here on, we want to avoid the curbs. So getting very close to the curbs, as close as we can, but not quite hitting them. I actually kind of hit that one there, which puts me a little bit offline, but it's not too bad. Now we're going to follow the green line that I put on the screen there, so stay towards the middle of the track and then we back towards the right, avoiding the curb but tucking right next to it, carrying our speed through here but not too much speed. And we want to end up pretty much on the concrete on exit, any wider than I go here and you'll be on the grass. So carry your speed up onto the concrete and then we're looking for our braking reference which is that little orange mark on the fence over there. We're going to be braking either just alongside that or just after it right here and making our way towards the inside of the turn. We want to be hugging this inside curb here. Don't go onto it again, but carry your speed around hugging this inside line and be patient. You might want to trail brake a little bit there and only once we're 100% straight, then we can get to 100% throttle. And there's this little kink to the left here. Be careful because if you turn too much, your rear is going to kick out if you're accelerating too hard. And same thing if you hit that curb. Now get our car all the way to the left side of the track here to open up our entry line. Now here our braking reference is those two marks of gra graffiti that I've shown there. We want to brake just between them. And then getting our car into a little bit of a slide, turning to the right, hugging that inside curb. And then in this little straight part between the two turns here, we're going to be touching the brakes just a little bit, using those braking references on screen. Braking and then hugging this left side curb. And as we get to the flat part of the curb here, we can cut right over it. I'm a little bit wide of it, so I still cut over it, but not as much as I could have and then straight line here, and we can cut all of this curb on the right. And carrying our speed over this curb, turning a lot, and being picking up that throttle, and only once we are straight again, then we get to 100% throttle. Our next braking point will be a little bit before this curb on the left ends, so as you can see on screen, I put the dot, where you should be braking, braking a wee bit, and as you begin to turn left off the brakes, a little bit of trail braking, and coasting, and again, hugging this inside curb without going onto it. I'm a little bit wide here, but I'm quite close to the ideal line. So hugging that curb, using all the width of the track, moving back to the outside of the track, left side tires should be ending up on the concrete if you're carrying enough speed through there. And then once you're straight again, dead straight line towards the braking pot, next braking point. And that would be this next graffiti mark that I pointed out on screen. You want to brake pretty much on that, back to the outside, then to the inside again, once again, hugging that inside curb. Now you should have an apex right here where I'm showing on screen. Get close to that curb, then you'll come out towards the middle of the track as you carry speed through, and then you should come back towards the inside again, right here. Now your next braking point is going to be basically alongside the end of this, whatever that is, that like end of curb or whatever that piece of track is, and then again, a little bit of braking and tuck, tucking the car right next to the inside curb. As you know, don't hit the curb, and here as we did before, picking up the throttle slowly all the way to the outside of the track. And we can use the concrete on the left side of the curb again, but don't go too far out because it's quite dirty. So somewhere along where I am right now is all right. Now you've got a couple braking references here. There's a graffiti on the track. There's like a line across the track with the graffiti or that sign. We want to break a little bit before the sign. And then again, hugging that inside curb. And then this corner, you've got to be extra careful with your throttle inputs because I found this is the corner most likely to oversteer if you get too heavy on the throttle too early. So picking up the throttle very gently, I even get a little bit of oversteer there. And then on exit, you can use all the concrete that you need, depending on how your car has exited the turn. I didn't have to use all the curb here. You want to get your car as straight as possible, as soon as possible, so you can accelerate harder sooner. Now that was a 55.8. That's about two seconds into the golds. So I hope this helps you. Just before continuing, I would like to mention that I've linked up with Simrace247.com. Simrace247.com is a community-based website that caters for many. And I would highly recommend for you and those of you who have an interest in sim racing to go check out Simrace247.com where you can find all your latest news and updates about sim racing. And you'll also be able to find some of my video guides and content on Simrace247. So please go check it out.
I'm now going to show the same thing again, but without the pauses and without me talking, so you can see my throttle inputs and where I turn and everything more clearly. And then after that, I'll do the same thing again, but in third person for those who play in third person. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked the video and subscribe if you like these two. See you soon.